Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here playing some more Dream Quest. Just came off a heartbreaking but very informative and instructive run with Wizard. Let's go ahead and check in with the Priest. Um, it's the other caster here. I know I could have played the Thief next, but let's mix it up a little bit at least and see what we can do here. Um, I'm going to grab Health. For, no, I'm going to grab Mana for the Priest. Let's do it. The priest I find is often very mana hungry. I'm going to Oracle over here to see if there's a point to wasting this health pack to avoid this level 1 Piranha. Seems like there is. If there was like a wall here, I wouldn't do it. But since I can explore more, let's get over here. Ooh, that's a lot of exploration. Okay, great. Okay, that's actually not that much, but okay. So I didn't actually mean to do that. I wanted to look at the shop first, but that's fine too. We can kill, we can kill a level 3 Wyvern. No problem. Let's put 6 damage on that prayer. Yeah. Beautiful, and then it's gonna die at the beginning of my next turn Then I level up Blorp Haste or wisdom. Oh, this is but these are both good getting card draw is great, but wisdom is just unpassable I do want mana and it cycles, so it's not a loss. Ooh, a monastery. Very nice uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of an attack one here This mana one I wouldn't be averse to getting rid of it later but for now, let's get rid of the attack one so I can actually drum, get, get to my prayer faster. Unfortunately, I appear to have to fight this piranha in this map. We get a mana for five gold, dodges, whatever. Prayer of violence, maybe actually getting a second one would be good. I'm going for a prayer strategy. Well, I'm going to kill this level one piranha, see if there's any other shops that await me later, and then maybe I'll actually want to buy something at those shops instead. Aha, getting it done with the attack two. Okay, next up is, ooh, two chests, how nice. Level two, level two, level three, okay. Drain life, it's one of those things where like, early on that's pretty good, but later on this is kind of a, kind of bad damage spell, kind of a bad healing spell. I'm gonna come back later on that. And then this is frost slash, yeah, it's just some more damage, we'll take it. So I'm gonna fight the level three, because this will level me up. It'll be a bit of a slow fight, but these guys don't have any healing, and I should be able to kill them with a prayer. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous, actually. Good thing that Frost Slash just did four damage. That was kind of handy. And then we'll heal up. Uh-huh. So I'll throw away the attack, play the wisdom, and then this prayer will kill it next turn, as long as I just survive one more turn. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that Frost Slash was an MVP, though. That four damage, I don't know what I would have done without it. Okay, don't want this heal, it's a bit weak. So we're gonna grab two mana, it's fine. And then, I guess I'm fighting some level twos. What was it, this shop again? Uh, I didn't look at this shop before, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get this pendant. Mana is good for the priest, and now we're ready to get things that use mana. What's the cooldown? Oh, three cooldown, yeah. If it was cooldown two, it'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll kill this thing, whatever. I could just kill it. Turn one, but you know, when it's a cooldown three, you gotta be a little bit more careful about just, you know, whimsically using it to kill things. Lots of chests here. Ooh, equipment slot. That's pretty darn solid, so I get to equip my pendant. That's actually really strong. All right, and then this shop. Uh, Sionic Blast isn't bad. At the moment, I don't have any synergy with it. I could just discard an attack one and deal 10 damage. Salve is all right. A little bit of healing, a little bit of mana. But I've actually done pretty well on the mana front with this Wisdom and this Pendant. So I'm okay with that without getting a mediocre mana card. Yeah, let's get Psionic Blast. Deal 10 damage and a pop for the low, low price of discarding a card. Also, it's got some synergy if you get Curses. Okay, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be able to restore this cooldown. Oh, man, my prayer got canceled by him flying. Oh, and I wasted my most damaging card for absolutely no reason. Okay, anyway, <laughs> luckily we can just kill it. There, and another chest. Got so many chests. Mana three. Ooh, boy, that's so. It's the most upgraded mana card. Gives you six mana, but I've already got the pendant and a wisdom. Yeah, I don't think I need to take mediocre mana cards. I'm actually going to use this health back because I guess the boss is down here. Akami Ascendant. All right. Well, uh, let's fight the pixie because it just levels me up, and that's important, obviously, to increase my hand size. All right. Wisdom reward. God, I just can't pass on Wisdom. Ward is decent to block 8 damage, but Wisdom is Wisdom. It's free mana, man. Alright, I forget what this guy actually does. Let's take a look at this thing that he equips. Hmm, okay. 
What is this now? This is the haste. Okay, so he's drawing more and more cards and getting more and more time the longer the battle goes. So it's a good thing I have a Frost Slash in here and a Psionic Blast for some extra damage. Let's put this up to three. Maybe that's a little much, but the three deals nine damage just in case he has any healing tricks or something. I should be able to kill him off with that. Yeah, I guess I should I could have done I could have done six and I would have killed him a turn sooner. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he ain't doing any damage to me, that's for sure. I didn't even need my fire cooldown, so I might as well go into the next floor with it active. Um, hold on, am I taking how much? Oh my god. Uh oh, spaghettios. Okay, seven health. Alright, we're good, we're good. Yep, it's fine. And we level up and heal. Alright, inspiration is really good. Drawing the next spell on your deck, more cycling action. I don't have that much, that many spells. Okay, I have one spell. Okay, so I'm gonna have spells someday, but this is really solid. Cleanse, though, I mean, yeah, it's cleanse. There'll be other mana cards, but there's not gonna be other cleanses necessarily. I'm gonna get rid of mana one here. It's starting to become a weak link. And let's check out these chests. So drain life, I don't think I want, and mana three I don't want. All right, um, and then these shops. Venom and heal, that's an easy pass. Another pendant I don't need, I don't think. And then here, aha. Definitely want to get this mana before I go. And yeah, let's get another Prayer of Violence. I know this is a basic card, but um, at the same time, oh, hey, I have 10 gold left. Let's actually pay at the Monastery to forget another card. So now I've got a nice trim deck. We can cycle through it with Prayers of Violence, doing tons of damage. And then I just need to find some healing cards, like a, like a Bless would be great. That's the one that's 7 mana heals for 15, and Overhealing is a shield. So here, I don't think there's anything that's good enough to copy. So what I'm going to do is actually just grab um, either the gold or the level up. You know, I'm going to level up here. Gold is good, of course, if I do find that bless in a shop or something. But I actually like Ding a lot. This is 16 experience, and it really helps later on to have this extra experience. Because you just, when you get to level 3 and you're like level 8 and you're desperately trying to get to level 10 before you can fight the boss, not, not having to kill like two level 8 monsters on the third floor is a huge deal. Uh, so you can get to the final boss much sooner. I, even though this is, I know, like on paper, a bad talent because eventually it does nothing. Um, just in practice, I found it to be quite helpful. Okay, so this is a tricky one, because the Mana Surge is a good mana card, 10 mana. But I'm going to get the health, because 7 health is very solid. I can always get other mana cards, but I'm not necessarily going to get other health. Other health opportunities, I should say. Okay, 5 and 4. Hmm. Well, that's actually Oracle behind this 4. Okay, so another monster. Yeah, let's try this. We'll go for the Siren, see what we can do. It's only got 15 hit points. Let's do 9. You know, with me having a Psionic Blast, I probably should have done 6, but I'm glad I didn't, because my Psionic Blast got Sirened away. Okay, so she'll die next turn. How much damage will I take? Not much, but she also didn't die next turn. Okay... All right, let's put this also at two, and then they'll both go off in a couple of turns, and she'll die. For real this time. I promise. Actually, she's dead right now. All right, so I'm mostly full health. That was good. Perfect. Lost one hit point. Fine. And then we'll fight this brownie. This only works on attack cards. It does not affect prayers. So my prayers are going to go through, and that's my plan for killing her. Also, Psionic Blast is not an attack card, so that goes through. All right, perfect. So what we do is we just set both of these to one, and then they come in for six damage next time. Okay, I did take 10 health here, or 10 points of damage that fight, but that's okay. Banshee is tougher because Prayer of Violence is physical damage, and Banshee takes half damage from physical, and I currently have nothing that deals elemental damage except for my Frost Slash and this Burning Light. Well, all right, let's do that then. Let's use the Burning Light on her. It's kind of the perfect person to use it on. Blorp. And then five damage there. So I just need... I mean, it's obviously ineffective here, but I need to just kind of push it through. This would be three damage. I'm going to do that. And then I'm hoping I can find some, like, attack two or something that will also deal half damage. Oh, Frost Slash. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Frost Slash was definitely quite handy there. Okay. Well... There's another inspiration, and there's Acid Rain. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm looking for. 
Obviously, poison does go well with like a healing strategy, and if your prayers are temporarily out of your deck and you're cycling through faster, poison can actually add up. So maybe I'll do that. At the moment, it's a moot point because I don't have any gold, so we'll just think about that later. Okay, we got all these storm callers. Whoa. Monastery City over here. Now, the Wisp, if I'm ever going to kill it, it's going to have to be with my Burning Light. Um, because the only the only damage I have that damages a Wisp, which is immune to physical damage, is the Burning Light and the Frost Slash. Well, I don't see any reason to waste time here. Let's go into these monasteries. I mean, this is a really nice find, getting two free cleanses. So I'm really just trimming it down. I do kind of wish now I had done some other things besides cleansing on my level up choices. I'm going to Oracle back here. So there's the boss up there, and there's a water elemental. Um, do I think I can survive with 25 hit points. All right, I'm going to pop a health pack. Let's see if we can explore a bit. I need 12 experience. That's Oh, that's an elite. I don't want to fight that yet. So that's 6, and that's 7. Well, actually, 6 and 5 almost does the job. I'm going to start with the 5 to see how this goes. Got 31 hit points. Let's see how many of them it takes away from me. So prayer of violence, hmm, four. I'm gonna about to deal 10 damage to it. Let's let's try six. It's a bit risky, but I'm optimistic I can just find four damage somewhere and then just win. Oh man, even with just a single turn, this guy did quite a bit of damage to me, and it's still not dead. It's only gonna die next turn. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so yeah, that was uh, that was a lot. He dealt 18 damage to me, and that was the level 5 version. Ward. Alright, fine. I'll take a ward. Not not ideal, but you can only wait so long for the ideal cards. At some point, you just gotta, you know, take what you got. And looks like what I got is a ward. Um, I'm not even sure with 25 health I can beat this thing. Because I just fought his level 5 cousin, and that one wrecked me pretty good. So, this doesn't even level me up. What exactly do I do after fighting the Siren? Well, I could fight the Siren, get my fire back, and try to fight the Wisp. Alright, we'll try that. Okay, could have, it's not, not a bad opening hand here. Okay, we'll do this for 9. I think that should do it. No! my ward that's unfortunate um like i should really remember by now that these bitches have wards i should have set my prayers to be higher oh god oh jeez. okay it would have been better if she didn't beckon away all my cards because then i could have actually killed her and now we are in the very sad situation did, did I really not kill her? I didn't kill her this turn i cannot believe i didn't kill her this turn i was like 100 percent sure that she'd be dead Okay, well, at least I get an extra heal in, so that kind of works out. Um, yeah, so I'm one experience away from leveling up. Oh, two, I guess, away from leveling up. And I don't have any access to health. I can't get through to this health pack. So I'm either fighting this level 7 Storm Caller, this level 6 Muck Caller, or level 7 Wisp. Oh my god. I think I have to. I don't think I can kill the Wisp fast enough. I'm going to go for the Muck Caller, even though I think there's a really good chance I'm just dead here. So we're gonna we're gonna do this prayer. Something good will happen. Oh, it took 15 damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's decent. So now I can play this for one and play this. I can actually just kill him, but I'm about to level up after this fight. He's not gonna do 15 damage to me. I mean, come on, is that he's not gonna do 15? Is that, is that really, okay? Good. Um, let's see if we can find a healing card. Oh, it doesn't matter because he's I'm leveling up. Okay, wow, that was a good prayer. Got lucky with that one. Okay, cleansing. No, no, I gotta focus, because I have a time. I have no action cards except for Psionic Blast. There is a chance I get both of them, and this is wasted, but drawing two cards is just too good, and I've had so many monasteries, I'm pretty much all cleansed out. I mean, yes, I could get rid of this last attack one, but I think drawing two cards is just way too good not to take. Okay, got some good stuff here. So Penance is very good, and I do have a very trim deck. So that's actually a solid choice. Um, of course, I was also tempted by the cards in this shop. Uh, inspiration is solid to draw the next spell. I mean, I still don't actually have that many spells is the funny thing, just the Orison and the Ward. So yeah, why don't we take this and get some mana? 
And now that I have Penance, and I've got my Fire, let's actually go ahead and fight this Wisp. Because the Penance deals damage, the Fire deals damage, and my um, Frost Slash deals damage. 30 is kind of a lot, though. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's do what we can. So let's get some shields. And then, I mean, all this crap is just... It doesn't do anything. Okay. So what I'm doing here, basically, is just putting this Prayer of Violence on max to get it out of my deck. So I cycle through faster, get the Penance going. Oh, so the Wisp does a thing... Shoot, I messed up. So the Wisp it does this thing, Discharge. Deal one damage for each mana you have and then lose physical immunity. So the Wisps can be killed, even if you only do physical damage, because you can wait for them to discharge. Oh my god, what am I doing? Um, I messed up horribly. Can I cancel this? Oh god, I didn't want to do this. I thought this was focus. Whoops. Well, I guess I'm going to lose the wisdom, even though that sucks. Because I definitely want to put the uh, the penance on. Um, that's obviously very important to my game plan, but I missed drawing a card for no reason whatsoever. Okay, took a bunch of damage, unfortunately, but I can heal a little bit. Draw. Do a bit of damage. Ward some damage. And next turn I can kill it with my fire. Will the ward hold? It did. Okay. Now I guess I can check to see... I mean, I could get greedy here and just not use my fire. As long as the ward holds. That was a good decision. Looks like it was. I can heal some... I actually end up healing more this way. And then there's the penance. It's actually going to kill it. At the start of its next turn. So yeah, taking those prayers out and then cycling through for multiple penances can get pretty good. Alter to Alcaran. Level up your uh, Definitely not this time. Not much to level up. Just those four. And I don't want all the monsters to be one level higher. Again, that does, you know, have the, the, the silver lining that they uh, give an extra experience. But I don't think it's worth it. Okay, I'm going to pop a healing pack up here. See what I can explore. Actually, I can use Oracle to see if there's anything down here. There's an Oasis down there. Okay, that's actually good to know. I guess it was a little risky of me not to heal more. But I'm optimistic that this is going to work out. So let's Wisdom up. Heal, play that, deal 10 damage, and pass the turn. Oh, God, that was, that was a lot. All right, drawing cards. And now I'm going to put each of these at mm, three. See how accurate that calculation was. Will the ward hold? It will not. Not even remotely close to holding. Good God, I messed up. I should have not clicked the play all button because that made me play the folk, the, the, the psionic stab with nothing, and then I died. I actually could have killed him. Could have just played the psionic blast and then killed him with my fire. Would I have known to kill him with my fire? I'm not sure. I might have taken a risk and just not done it. Well, anyway, we got skull crack, which is cool. And Desperate Strike, which I don't think is actually very good. And I guess that this is uh, its a short video, but it's just long enough. I don't want to start another one. So thanks for watching there, guys. everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.